What's up cut bangers? Brian Gold PhD here, here to discuss my Nissan R34 Skyline right hand drive with the questions you guys submitted via Instagram. Let's get right into the video. So people always ask me how is it being on the right hand side of the car. At first it's a little weird because you're not used to having anyone in this peripheral vision over here. It's usually you're used to seeing the passenger seat so it always feels like someone's about to hit you instead of you know you're just in the lane and you're like wait why is someone creeping up on my right I'm not used to seeing a car there. The turn signal isn't your left hand it's your right hand so I'm always turning on the windshield wipers instead and then shifting with your left hand for me it's pretty easy nothing too difficult the pedal configuration is still the same everything else is still the same as any other car it's just you're sitting on the right hand side. So this car is pushing approximately 605 horsepower all-wheel drive to the tire. The mods I've done to the engine bay, simple one was radiator upgrade, then custom intake pipe, custom intercooler, full exhaust, custom headers, Tomei fuel rail, Tomei cams, Tomei fuel pump, Nismo oil cooler with oil filter relocation, a Haltech ECU, and adjustable mapping. So the lovely joy of owning this car is getting parts. Everything has to come from Japan. If you're lucky, there's some parts in Canada, but a majority of it usually comes by boat shipment and it takes forever. Like the windshield took me nine months, interior trims took another six months, miscellaneous bushings took three to five months plus customs forms because it had some grease on there that wasn't okay. Wheels and tires, that's pretty standard uh, JDM offset. New steering wheel took several months. Getting the new screen for the car took another six months plus I had to disassemble it myself and figure out how to put it back together. You know, there's no YouTube videos on a lot of this stuff so I had to just figure it out all on my own. So I've been getting a lot of requests to do a launch video of my R34. However, due to... <laughs> That's it for the questions for now. Let's get into the car and see how she drives. So driving the R34, thing handles like a dream. It's a purpose-built track car. It is street legal, so it makes it more fun ripping through the canyons. You know, the suspension's a little stiff, so don't try and drink a cup of coffee while you're driving. Um, really easy to shift through all the gears. Clutch is not too heavy but I'm also a bigger guy so for me it just doesn't feel as difficult to push so the clutch throw is pretty short on this car uh, it's not as long as maybe like a BMW or a Porsche very few cars even come in manual these days so it's that older Japanese feel if you've ever driven a JDM car it's that super short throw and just slam it in the gear compared to anything else because these these coilovers are meant for road racing so you know you feel every bump in the road every rock every crack you know when you let off it bounces a little bit it's a very stiff ride so on the video we're putting out of the LFA drifting comparing the two vehicles uh, my Skyline versus my LFA the LFA is a luxury sports car you know it, it still is a supercar it drives like a dream but it's got the electric electronic dampening suspension you know comfy seats sound deadening you know this car is a lot more raw it's a little harder to drive there's no computers to help save you like the LFA has traction control this doesn't have traction control so in some aspects the LFA is easier to drive but this is all-wheel drive so it's technically a different comparison and a different ride uh, some of the future mods I'd like to do to this car is I'd like to upgrade the turbos do a stroker kit increase the piston size and try and get around 850 to the tire um, and maybe even add a nitrous setup just for fun doing some drag events. So one of the craziest experiences I had was uh, I was in gridlock on the 405. Some guy got out of the car in complete shock and hopped out, started taking photos. People are honking at him. Also, he can just get a photo while he's on the freeway of my car stopping traffic. I was like, the car's cool, but not worth, you know, getting out of your car on a public highway. 
Thank you for everyone that submitted questions via my Instagram story. Please go subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on post notifications. We have some epic content coming with us drifting the LFA versus the GT3 RS with an epic ending to the video. Don't want to ruin the surprise, but you'll see myself and Edmund Mondi in that video as well. Look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode.